Um, part of the reason I, I wanted to bring you on was sort of to look at um, Pascal Siakam's season, right? And I think um, we're really, when you really break down his year, I, I would sort of break it down into three blocks. Um, I would say that there was the pre-injury, which obviously he started the season great. Um, but in game nine of the season, he gets hurt. So the first eight games of the season, he was averaging 26 points, 10 rebounds, eight assists per game. He was shooting 48% from the field, 36% from three, and he was getting to the foul line eight times a game. When he returned from that injury, which I think cost him three weeks, maybe a little, just a little under a month, um, he actually hit the ground running pretty quickly, but he averaged 25, 7, and 6 on 48% shooting, 35% from three, and 7.4 free throw attempts per game. That's after 40 games. So mostly that was okay. And honestly, that's phenomenal numbers. And then post All Star, I think that's where we've seen a little bit of the slowing down process of him averaging 22, 8, and 5. And the majority of that comes down to the fact that um, his free throw attempts dropped from about eight a game to about four a game. He's still shooting decently um, in terms of from the field, 47%. His three-point percentage has dropped down to 29. But, you know, there is a, a more of a noticeable slowdown in those 19 games. So, Coach, I really wanted to sort of ask from your perspective, like, what did he start the season doing really well? And sort of as the season went on, sort of where do you see some things where if, if there is some slippage? Well, I think that you you guys are you guys are seeing it. Mm -hmm. Um the free throws is a direct, really direct. Your, your number of free throws normally is directly proportional to your your speed and force of which you're attacking uh, the basket, as well as the craft of uh, taking the right angle, deceleration, change of direction, change of speed uh, altogether, which is sometimes including a surge dribble and then fakes. I mean, just to break it down, I'm sure, sure like in, in the simplest way, this is what we teach all, all of season. Um, and I thought he was really, really elite at that. Elite, I wouldn't say really elite. He was close to elite to start the season. Mm -hmm. And I just think over the course of time, which happens all the time, uh, it, it's waned a little bit. There's other factors at play. Mm -hmm. uh, my guess is, and I'm not a sports scientist, but my guess is if we had him, for example, if we tested him at P3 in Santa Barbara, Atlanta, prior to the season, and then tested him about two months ago, you would see a, a significant drop in, in whatever measures they're looking at. Right. As an athlete, quickness, deceleration, sudden starts, sudden stops. These are all things that that I know he worked on in the offseason, like any good player. Um, and I have a feeling it's because he just plays too much. Mm. I just think he plays too many minutes. And when you're injured, you're not, you're not that those are that isn't refreshing, recharging time. You're rehabbing. So I think honestly, I think I just think he's tired. I, okay. I haven't asked him or anything like that. I'm just telling you mm -hmm. I'm not, i just think he's a little bit tired and i also think it's a lack of belief uh i think to start the season pascal this is just what i i know i know the first part i only am guessing the second part but mm -hmm. i think that i know that he wanted to be an mvp level player first team all nba right. and i think as the team struggled and this is not just about wins and losses this is about a, a real disconnect uh the franchise was wobbly Oh yeah, and I I think some guys don't care. They are able to just plow through and put up their numbers in any situation. Mm. I don't think Pascal is one of those guys. It doesn't. That's not good or bad. In fact, I might even argue that's good. Mm -hmm. I think he, I think he's connected to his team because he is a very selfless player. You can look at his his career number and assists this year, at least per forty. Yep. Um, as an example of that. Uh, he, he he really doesn't care if he scores, if they win. And so when the team was, I just think, lost, I think it impacted his force. Right. And mm -hmm. when Pascal is at his best, he plays with a force that is relentless and undeniable. And I don't feel, I didn't watch him a lot during during this course of the, the season. It's certainly not during his rough spots, but I remember watching him one time and really feeling down that that he just doesn't have that belief anymore that, Either he can be all NBA, a first team, or that his team is going to amount to anything of, of that ma that matters. Mm. And so I think that missing that force, that energy has impacted his drive to attack, 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 get fouled. And so his free throw attempts are suffering because of it.